Happy Wednesday, Scholars of Bridges Academy. Today, our art project or how to draw tutorial is how to draw a lighthouse. And once again, this project is from art project for kids, projects for kids dot org hashtag or slash draw a lighthouse. And it's a lesson by Kathy Barbaro. And so today we are going to be drawing a lighthouse. Um, which is an island, usually on an island, and it has a, it serves as a light in the darkness for ships and sailors to get home uh, safely and to get through um, stormy waters. So here is an example of what our lighthouse could look like today. Let's learn a little bit more about the lighthouse. The world's first lighthouse was called the Pharos, and it was in the ancient city of Alexandria in Egypt. It was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and it was probably built out of limestone and stood about 600 feet tall. Not only was it a beacon for sea travelers, but it also served as a welcome center or a shining portal or entrance for all newcomers into the magnificent city. A lighthouse can symbolize a lot of different things, including overcoming challenges. Sometimes it's a symbol for a way forward and to help navigate through a world, through the world, especially in darkness. Oftentimes, lighthouses serve as a symbol of strength, safety, and are constructed to withstand powerful storms and turbulent ocean waters. So when there's big storms, the lighthouses are expected to still stand and guide sailors and ships home. Therefore, this light, a lighthouse is a symbol of strength. Oftentimes, they're constructed on top of hills or cliffs, and so they're really strong and resilient. Also, they represent hope and a safe haven so that when the ships first see the glimmering light at the top of a lighthouse in the distance, they know that they're close to safety. Lighthouses can also serve as a home for the lighthouse keeper who are there all through the night to make sure that sailors and ships can make their way home. And there are light, amazing lighthouses all over the world and to bring sailors and ships back home safely. So, to my students at Bridges, I dedicate this lighthouse project to you because you are my light in this darkness and you and your families represent strength, safety, resilience, and home. So let's draw a lighthouse together. You will need a piece of paper, pencil, a marker, and some coloring markers or crayons or pencils. Step one, today we are going to go uh, build our, or write, draw our lighthouse um, by using the paper um, long ways or vertically. And go ahead and fold the paper in fourths to draw your guidelines. And then you're going to start your building on the um, quadrant two and four. You're gonna draw almost um, a cylinder shape, but with a, um, with a wider base at the bottom. Step two, add the top and the curved lines on the lighthouse. Step three, add windows and the details. So you can add the windows and the little details around the, on the lighthouse. Step four, you're going to draw a building behind the lighthouse. So you'll draw a pentagon and two rectangles that go behind the lighthouse to give it some depth. Step five, add the windows and the door on the building and draw the island around the lighthouse where the lighthouse is standing. Step six, add the horizon line across the middle of your paper. Step seven, draw the waves with smaller ones in the back and bigger ones in the front. Step eight, draw the rays of light that come out of the lighthouse. And step nine, trace everything and color it as you see fit. And that is how you draw a lighthouse. For today's drawing, we are going to draw a lighthouse together. 
you're gonna keep your paper vertical instead of horizontal and go ahead and fold it to get your four quadrants which will help you with some guiding lines and common shapes that you know. So, step one, once you've created your guiding lines, is you're going to start the building by drawing, you're gonna be drawing in quadrant two and four with a line that's about an inch across. And it's gonna come down to about an inch and a half on the quadrant four. So straight line down, match it on the other side, and then a slightly curved line at the base of the lighthouse. So that's step one. Step two, you are going to add the top of the lighthouse. So it's gonna be slightly wider than the, white, the top of the lighthouse. So you're gonna extend it just a little bit and make a rectangle. And then you're gonna put a square right above it. And that will be the top of your lighthouse. And then you're gonna put some decorative stripes if you'd like across the body of the lighthouse. Step three, you're going to add the windows and the details. So go ahead and write, draw the windows in the top of the lighthouse and draw the top over it. You can also draw uh, extra detail by cutting it in half, cutting that rectangle in half and drawing little lines as the railing for the lighthouse. And then little windows, rectangular windows down the middle of the lighthouse body. And that could be for the stairwell to look out from. Step four, now you're gonna draw the building behind the lighthouse. So you're gonna draw a pentagon, or a pentagon, right? A five-sided figure right here on the side. Slightly longer, right? Then you're gonna connect it back to the lighthouse so that's going behind there. And there is your building behind the lighthouse. And that's a pentagon and uh, lines for a rectangle that would be behind the lighthouse. Now you can draw the windows and the doors for the building. And you're gonna draw the island from where the lighthouse is on. However way you'd like. Step six, you're gonna draw the horizon line and that's just easy. You can follow along on the folded piece of paper that you have straight across and that's your horizon. Step seven, you're gonna draw waves and for depth, you wanna make sure that the smaller ones are in the back with the larger waves in the front Step eight, you're gonna add the light rays coming out of the lighthouse and they can go straight. They're like two um, rays or straight lines going extending outwards on both sides of your paper. So going straight outwards, pew, and And there you go, boys and girls. You now have your lighthouse. Um, and you can color however you want, but um, if your lighthouse is in the dark or at night, you may want to color the sky a darker color and the, and the light coming out of the lighthouse a lighter color, but it's up to you. Go ahead and write your name and make sure if you're gonna share it with us, feel free to write your name, but make sure you're only writing your first name. This one's my drawing. And that is how you draw a lighthouse.